Let's just get a little, uh... Oh, that was loud. Yo, what's good, you guys? Welcome back to another video. My room looks a little bit crazy right now because as you guys know, we got to move. We're moving out of the apartment, so I got some stuff packed up. I got my bed, like, all taken apart. Yeah, we're moving. We got to dip up out of here. But that's besides the point. That's besides the point. I got something special for you guys. If you guys are subscribed to the second channel, you guys will already have known that I officially started my own brand. Boom. Sorry, clothing company. Sorry, clothing co. It's not out yet. It's going to be released hopefully this week. I think I'm posting this video on, like, maybe Sunday or Monday. So hopefully this week, everything will be released. I'm releasing hoodies first. By the way, if you guys aren't subscribed to the second channel, go subscribe. Link in the description. I talked a little bit more about it in my last video over there, but I got the hoodies yesterday. Was it yesterday when I got the hoodies? I don't even remember. But look at this. As I like to call this color, iced coffee brown. We got iced coffee brown and red. Like the quality on these is so good. We got two colors. We got two colors. We got iced coffee brown and we got black. If I can even find where they are. Boom, man. We got black. The black is so clean. Look at that. Oh, looks so good. Dude, I'm so hyped on this. Like there's already so many designs that I want to do. Like so many designs. I already have in mind. Dude, I'm so hyped for this. Like, I'm so hyped to release this and for you guys to get them because, like, guys, the quality is so good. Like, this material, so good. The inside, like, super soft. But, yeah, these are dropping soon. Sorry, Clothing Co. Um, Your boy, your boy started a little brand. You know, Brian's got Late Club. Jay's got Let's Create. Danny has Legally Mental. Freddie has Excluded. Me, Sorry, Clothing Co. Dropping soon. Dropping soon. I don't know how often I'm going to be doing drops, but, like, with all the I ideas and shit that I have in mind, I could do them pretty frequently. Maybe once a month. I don't even know. And this, co I know you guys never see me wear, like, like anything other than black but like this color right here like this like iced coffee brown oh it just looks so good and with the red too i wasn't sure how this red would go with like the brown but it looks so good and certain lighting this brown looks more like gray like if you're outside in the sun it looks more like grayish but if you're like inside with like i don't know reg regular lighting it looks more brown like this like iced coffee brown which is why i call it that but um yeah shit's dropping soon go follow the instagram i'll leave the i'll leave the sorry um instagram in the description too i'll also put it right there boom um but yeah your boy, your boy's starting a brand. Um, but yeah, let's get to this board setup because I need a new board, my shit's broken. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. The ACDC board, we're doing it. A lot of you guys were like, no, don't skate it. Like, hang it up on the wall. Like, keep it. But honestly, I'm just I'm just not going to keep it. That shit was just like in my closet collecting dust. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to skate it. I forgot what size it is, actually. I think it's a, I think it's like an 825 or something. 85 maybe. Damn, I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, this is the board that I broke not too long ago, which sucks because like, this board's still pretty new. Like, it's still pretty fresh, but I fucking broke it skating a curb. That's crazy. Should I, should I ollie the five? See if it breaks? No warm up either. I just came out of the car, sat down. I'm gonna see if, see if I can ollie this little five stair. And these aren't even the shoes that I skate in. Fuck it. Oh, it feels weird. It feels so weird. I don't think it's gonna break though. I think the five stair's too small, but I did break it skating a curb, so. I don't know. Oh! I felt it flex hella. Yeah, that shit's broken, bro. Fuck. Let's just get a little, uh... Oh, that was loud. Fuck, bro. This board was so good, too. I loved it. Ah, there we go. Good as new. Good as new. Oh, should I all the five now? Nah. I can't even flip it over, it's like so flat now. I still got an ollie heel. All right, board setup time. All right, so setting up the ACDC board. Um, some of you guys are gonna be mad that I'm skating it, but you know what, it's fine. It's better that I actually skate it and have it put to use instead of it just sitting in my closet, you know? It is such a nice board though. It's already scratched up and shit because it's just been like thrown, been thrown around in my room, but I really forgot what size this is. Um, it doesn't say it anywhere either. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, um, like in every board setup video, I got questions from you guys. I got questions from you guys that I'm gonna answer while I set this up. I was gonna get new bearings, but honestly, I forgot. But like the ones I skated in the rain with, they got all rusted. But then I skated the board and then like they went back to normal. It's weird. It's like they're fine now. Like they still spin really good. Like I don't, I don't understand how that's even a thing, but it's a thing. Look at that, it's just going. After being all rusted and skated in the rain. Shout out to Garage, the Garage Skate Shop for hooking it up with this grip tape. I was there, they were all cool as fuck. I was like, yo, this grip is sick. And they were like, here, just take it, just have it. And I was like, all right, bet, thank you guys. So shout out, shout out Garage Skate Shop for hooking it up with the grip. I'm gonna do a five star Ollie test after I set this up, see how the board feels. Like this isn't like a skate, I don't think like any skate company made this. 
it's just it's just an ACDC skateboard, so I don't even know if the board is gonna be good or not. At least I think. I don't think they collabed with anyone on this. All right, we getting right into it. We getting right into it. I'm gonna answer some of you guys' questions. Should this be like a low edited video too? Because you guys are fucking with like the GoPro unedited videos. Not completely unedited, but like a lot less editing. So maybe this will be one too. I don't know. Just because like it's a board setup, so I feel like it gets kind of boring at times. I don't know though. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Um, questions. Questions snowboard vlogs i'd be so down to like go go snowboarding and like film a video i just don't like being cold for too long like i feel like i would enjoy snowboarding snowboarding but i feel like i would get over it in like i don't know 20 30 minutes just because like i would be cold and i'd be like man fuck this but that oh god dude imagine a snowboard video but with, with my gopro on that'd be sick yo i'm down for that i'm down to go snowboarding oh i did not put this on right Oh my god, it wouldn't be an Ash oh this grip is so grippy. It wouldn't be an Ashton Kelly board setup if I didn't fuck up the grip tape. All right? Here we go, here we go. Oh fuck. Dude, it's so grippy. Yo, garage. What kind of fucking grip is this? Shit grippy as hell. There we go, there we go, there we go. But yeah, snowboard vlog, I would I would be so down for that. Will this question be in the video? This question is in the video. Oh, it's so, so satisfying, so satisfying. Um, was it hard starting your clothing brand? Not really. I think the hardest thing was coming up with like a name that I really fucked with and like I don't know, something that like, as soon as I thought about it, it like stuck. Cause I've been doing merch for a little bit. So like actually making clothes and shit like that, I already had like an idea of how to do it, you know? So that was pretty easy. All right, let's see if I fuck this up, bro. I'm a, I'm a focus, I'm a focus. I already fucked it up, bro, no way. Okay, okay, not too bad. Bro, oh my God. All right, let's see, let's see. Second tries a charm? No, it's not. Oh my God. Where do you want your clothing brand to be at by the end of the year? I don't know, I haven't really thought about it that much. Um, or I haven't thought like, long term of it i just i just know i really wanted to like get started on it and start making it soon so that's just what i've been focused on so like right now i'm just like i'm just hyped to even have like have it started you know like that's just all i wanted to do right now i just wanted a good name i wanted good designs and i just want to get it started and like have you guys like supporting it and shit so right now i'm just focused on like that and like the quality of everything you know so i don't know in a year um i don't know i guess we'll see when we get there what trick do you hate doing Oh fuck, oh fuck. Dude, heel flips. I hate doing heel flips. And it's weird though, cause like, I love switch heels. I love nollie heels. I love like, half cap heels, varial heels, laser flips, nollie back heels, but just regular heel flips. I hate. Oh, regular heel flips and fakie heel flips, bro. I just, I hate them. I don't know why. And it's not cause like, I can't do a heel flip or anything. It's just like, I just hate doing heel flips. Like, I don't know. It's a trick that I don't like the feeling of. Like, I just don't like the feeling of doing a heel flip. I don't know why. It's really weird. Like, I have heel flips. I have them, like, pretty good, too. It's just like, no, no, I just fucking, I just don't like heel flips, bro. I just don't like them. Um, what other trick? I think it might be just heel flips. Wait, what was the question? I don't, I just hate doing heel flips, bro. Oh, and varials. I hate doing varials. I hate doing varials because I can't do those. Like, it's so, like, also a weird feeling trick that I just hate. No no hate to people that like doing varials or heel flips, you know what I'm saying? But I, it's me personally, I don't fuck with them, bro. I don't fuck with them. See, this is like the shit that I find boring, just like unscrewing trucks. Um, but we'll test out the less editing and see how you guys like it. I already know you guys are gonna fuck with it cause like you guys say how the board setups are like hella, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, Like relaxing or like enjoyable, watchable, satisfying is the word that you guys use. You guys are like, they're hella satisfying. <clears throat> so um, I'm gonna see how you guys like them when there's a little bit less editing. So let me know how you fuck with it. Dude, this grip tape is like so strong. There we go. Oh my God, it's like, this grip is so like, just like sticky and grippy. 
even the fucking i can't even like get the screw out once i hit it in like that i can't even i can't get it out there we go all right this board i forgot the size of it oh shit what's the nose this is the nose oh this is like a eight this is like an a25 yeah it's an a25 i think i think this board is gonna feel good i think it's gonna feel really good um Hopefully it's not like a weak ass board or some shit cuz I don't know. There's no like I don't think there's a skate company behind this board. I think ACDC was just like, "Let's make a skateboard." Or whoever owns ACDC or whatever. The, I don't fucking know how companies work. I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, questions. What's the most you ever spent on a deck? Um, for sure one of the flight boards. Either one of the flight boards or one of the creature God damn, bro. Either one of the flight boards or one of the creature VX boards. Um, those are all just so expensive. Like they're like, they're like above $90. Um, yeah, they're pretty expensive. Those are the, for sure. Like the most I've ever spent on it. Just the deck dude, where'd that other screw go? Oh my bro. Where the hell did it go? Dude, am I tripping? What, what did I do with it? Dude, I'm fucking tripping. Did I bring it over here when I like tested out the board? I'm missing one. One, two, three, there's four. Bro, what, where did, dude, watch it be like right in front of me and I just can't see it. Where the hell did it go? Dude, I'm so confused. Dude, I'm tripping. Oh, it's right here. Bro, what the hell? How did I not see that? Damn, I even, I even said it. I was like, watch it be like right in front of me and I just can't see it. What, what was I even talking about? What was the question? Oh yeah, the most money I spent on a skateboard deck. Yeah, definitely one of the flight boards or some shit. What is that one trick you want to learn? For the longest time, it was back lip. Um, but then I learned back lips and I got them. And then I would say now, probably front feebles. Like I've been struggling to like actually get those good for a while now. Like I've done a few of them but I still wouldn't say that I have that trick. You know what I mean? Like I've done a few, but I still like, like it's not in my trick list, you know? Like I don't have them that good yet where I could just like, just just do them, you know? So yeah, probably front feeble. Um, probably front feeble. Let me think of a, like a flat ground trick. Probably, hmm. Let me think of a good flat, flat ground trick I wanna learn. Probably, probably anything switch backside because i just can't like a switch backside flip would be so sick to learn that's like a hard ass trick though maybe that one's not even like maybe i shouldn't even say that um sw something switch switch i was gonna say switch hard flip but i think i could switch hard flip like I, I think i have those i honestly don't know i'm just gonna say switch backside flip just because like i can't do any switch backside tricks and a switch backside flip would be fucking sick to learn wait that was the front truck right is this the front of the board yeah, it is. All right. I think. I hope so. All right. See, like, this right here. I would say this is fucking boring as hell. Just putting on a truck. But you guys always ask for the board setups. You guys say you guys like the GoPro unedited videos. You guys say the board setups are hella, hella satisfying to watch and shit. So let me know what you guys think. The board setups, I got to make them how you guys want to view them. So let me know. I also hate doing this shit by hand. Oh, there's a little piece of piece of grip right there sticking out. Oh, there we go. Yeah. This board actually feels like pretty solid. And it looks pretty solid too. And it was free. I didn't even I didn't even say where I got these. Um there was like a skate event me, Casey, and Jay went to. Um, and they had a bunch of these ACDC boards they were just giving out for free and me and Casey were like, yo, we want some of those. So we went over there and we just took some. Yeah, so that's where the ACDC board even came from. Good thing this board and this board, they were both free. So I didn't have to spend like $100 on a deck for the past two boards. But this board only lasted me like four good skate sessions and that was it. So let's see how long this one lasts me. But if I were to buy a flight or some shit, it would last me as long as like four boards. You know what I mean? So it like, even though they're more expensive, it's like worth it because like, Instead of spending, I don't know, like 60, $70 on a normal board, every time you like, and then it breaks and you have to get another one and another one, you can just spend 90 on one board and that one will just last you, you know? So it's worth it, I guess. So yeah, like I keep saying, if you guys never had like a flight board or you guys break boards a lot, bro, go get a flight. They're expensive, but it'll be worth it. Trust me, they're gonna last you. And they just, and they just won't break. 
It just won't break. So you'll be chilling. You'll be good. Do you miss Josh? Bro, I miss Josh so much. Like, that fool is like my little brother, bro. Fucking miss Josh. Everyone keeps like, keeps on asking, yo, where's Josh? Uh, guys, I've made multiple videos. I've said it like dozens of times. Bro, Josh moved. He's out of state. He's like in North or South Carolina or some shit like that, bro. I can't just like call Josh and be like, yo, let's, let's skate today, bro. That fool's gone, bro. That fool's long gone. Nothing we can really do about it. I could like fly that fool out here, but like, dude, his mom, his mom will not let him come out here. All right, I feel like this board setup is going by like pretty quickly. So we're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. Um, dude, I want new, I want new like trucks and bearings and wheels. Next board setup I get, I'm gonna have a new board. I'm gonna get in some new trucks. I'm gonna get some new wheels. I'm gonna get some new bearings. I'm gonna go all out. It's gonna be a whole new, com oh fuck. It's gonna be a whole new complete. Next board setup. Actually, nah, maybe it, it won't. Nah, maybe it won't be. Cause like, the ne like I don't have any more boards to skate that I just have at home, so I'd have to go buy a board. And I'm gonna want to buy a flight or something, which is like ninety, ninety five dollars or something. And then trucks and then wheels and then bearings too. Like, that's a good little chunk of money for a board, bro. I don't know. All right, that's all the questions that I screenshotted. But I'm gonna go on Instagram and just read some more. Favorite deck size? Uh, my favorite deck that I ever had. Um, it was an 875. It was an 875 Creature VX board. Dude, I fucking, I loved that board so much. But it's so hard to find like that size with like a flight or one of the VXs. I don't know why. But that was like a, such a good size, 875. It's like kind of big, but like it felt so good. That was probably my favorite size. But right now I kind of stick to like 85. Ashton, we need more fingerboard clips? Bro, I got you guys, I got you. How many kids you want? Shit, bro, I don't know. Oh, I have no idea. No, I just come here. I just come here to skate, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, there you have a good one, bro. Basketball gym, shit. I don't know. I'm down to go play basketball. Though. That sounds fun. A lot of questions about the about the new clothing brand I'm starting, bro. I'm glad to see you guys are like actually fucking with it and starting to support it, even though the, even though uh, the first drop hasn't even dropped yet. Hopefully, sometime this week, bro. How long do you plan on running it for, though? Um, hopefully for a while, bro. Like I want, like, dude, like I said in the in like. I, hope, I think I said it in the beginning of the video, like, I have so many, like, designs and shit already, like, planned and that I want to do, so, like, hopefully for a while, I'm gonna have this shit going for a while. I want to have, like, stickers, I want to do all that shit, like, I want to make it an official, like, brand, you know, I want to, I want to do it for as long as I can. Dude, I'm trying to find, like, questions to answer, but a lot of them are just, like, the same, like, what's your favorite board, like... Favorite trick? <laughs> what happened with Juju's tail? <laughs> I don't know. That fool is a Craigslist cat, so I don't know. I think that answers the question. He's from Craigslist. Someone said, "Where, where did you grow up?" Because I think you grew up next to my grandma. I grew up, I grew up kind of in like two places at once. What I mean by that is, I lived in South Central. Me and Casey were like neighbors. We lived on the same street, so I lived in South Central, but I went to school in Cerritos. So like, I spent my time in both places, you know, like lived in South Central, but went to school in Cerritos. So like, I would, I would go to school in Cerritos and then after school, I would go to like the skate, I would go to the skate park, like Cerritos skate park. And I would stay there for, um, I don't know, until my mom got off of work. So like, from like around two to, th from like two or three up until like five or six. So I would go to school and be at the skate park all the way up until like six o'clock. And then I would go home and then weekends I would be home. So like kind of in two spots, LA and Cerritos. Where are you moving to? Bro, helicopter. Can you chill bro? I'm trying to film. Where are you moving to? Um, bro, I'm gonna wait for this helicopter to go past. Shit, loud as hell for no reason. Yo, helicopters need to be electric. I'm just saying. Electric helicopters. That'd be sick as fuck. Wait, are helicopters already electric? Do you put gas in a helicopter? You do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, you do. Where are you moving to? I don't know. Y'all gonna have to wait and see, bro. Y'all gonna have to wait and see. Well, we're pretty much done with the board setup now, so. That was the last question. Matter of fact, let's answer one more, one more. Can you just bring Josh back? Bro, I don't have control over Josh. How does it feel that, oh, okay, this is a good one to end it off on. How, how does it feel that you had P-Rod at the crib? Bro, it was fucking crazy, like, dude, it was crazy. I, I came home, that fool was just in there with Mike Mo. I'm just like, dude, what is happening right now? Like, bro, it was like surreal. 
but he was like really cool he was cool as fuck he I, when i first saw him i was like damn this is fucking crazy and then like a little bit of time went by and, I, and then it just felt like he was like a homie you know just in there chilling making jokes and shit and we were just like joking around with, the, with each other and shit it was fun it was cool um but yeah there's the board acdc garage skate shop grip tape dude i fucked up the grip tape right there oh fuck we're not gonna pay attention to it though smooth out the grip a little bit smooth out the grip There we go, there we go. Ooh, dude, this board is clean. I fuck with the grip tape and the, just the clean ACDC logo. That's just sick. Honestly, just wish I had like like new trucks and wheels and bearings and shit. Cause mine still feel kind of wonky from the rain, but they're still good. That's why I haven't got new shit yet. Cause it's still like pretty good. Dude, I keep getting confused on what's the nose and the tail. That's the nose. It's kind of weird that the nose isn't the A for ACDC. If I was regular, Oh wait, no. I don't fucking know, bro. But yeah, that's the that's the nose. The end of the logo. Well, I guess it makes sense because like I'm goofy, right? And then I flip the board over, boom, I can read it. But I don't think that's how it's supposed to be, right? Or am I wrong? I have no fucking clue. Should I Ollie the five? A little a uh, little five star Ollie first tee on the new board. It fucking snaps as soon as I Ollie it, bro. I'd be. Bro, I'd be fucking pissed. Wait, I haven't even like stood on it yet. All right, it feels good. It's a good size. Oh yeah, it feels good. It feels hella good. Nolly heel test? No, I'll do a kickflip test. My kickflips have been like feeling pretty good lately. Oh shit, oh shit. All right, right here, right here. Never mind. I'm doing a nolly heel instead. Yeah, there we go. Dude, how the fuck do I have nollie heels better than a kickflip? Oh my fucking God, no way. Ah, uh, oh, that fucking hurt. Damn, that hurt my foot so bad. That's why I don't skate in these shoes. They're so thin. All right, I'm Ollie the five. Fuck, can't even Ollie the five, bro. All right, but sick little board. Um, Hopefully this shit lasts me more than fucking four skate sessions but honestly i don't honestly uh, i just don't have good luck with boards unless they're like the flight boards and shit but um yeah that's the board setup guys if you guys liked it leave a like subscribe if you're new sorry clothing crow drop sometime this week i'll keep you guys posted go follow the instagram go follow my instagram link in the description subscribe to the second channel and um yeah i'll see you guys in my next video Peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's sweaty as hell. hell yeah, <laughs> Yo! Yo!